Well, healing homes one family at a time. That's the mission for House of Hope, a place for hurting and troubled teenagers. Founder Marilyn Thomas is here along with Jamie Gunn, who is helping in this upcoming 5K walk and run, and Kaylee, the one in the middle, as she is a House of Hope graduate. Thank you three for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks. Let's begin with the founder. Marilyn, tell us about this place. Well, we're a residential facility for hurting teenage girls ages 12 to 17. We also do outpatient counseling for boys and girls 12 to 17. What is a hurting teenager? Describe that. A hurting teenager can be many things from uh, drugs, they on drugs or alcohol, or um, sexual promiscuity, or to uh, like suicide, depression, uh, bulimic, anorexic. Okay. Uh, de a lot of depression, a lot of, yeah. and but I would say about 40% of our girls are there just strictly from uh, rebellion against yeah. their parents. They yeah. won't do what the parents want them to do. The Kaylee, right here to your left and to my right, uh, she's a grad of, of that. So yeah, congratulations. <laughs> That's, That's right. Yeah, so tell us about your experience. Okay. Well, honestly, when I first went, I really hated it. Uh, of course. <laughs> I really hated now, it. That you lived there, right, 24/7. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and how long did you live there? Um, about a year. Okay. So. At, at how old? She's told me it was 12 to 17. So how old are, are you? I'm 18 now. I okay. was 17 when I. So went. you were 17 when you went there. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Um, okay, like I said, at first I hated it, but once I actually started giving it a chance and actually listening to what they were telling me and took their advice, like I really started to like it, and it changed a lot yeah. in my life. Yeah. Um, really helped you out. Were, were you just rebellious? Like, I mean, you yeah. know, mom and dad, I don't want to listen to you. Yeah, there's just a lot of family problems, and I was rebelling, and yeah. I wasn't happy with my life at all, mm -hmm. you know. Are you happier now? Yes. Yeah? This is the first time in my life I've started to actually like myself and my life, and I'm Good. a lot closer with my parents. That is so important. So you're actually closer to your parents. And, yes. And do you attribute it to this place? For sure. Okay. For sure. Because before I didn't have a relationship with my stepdad, because my dad died when I was a kid. I didn't yeah. have a relationship at all with him, and now I'm like, we're really close. Well, you're remarkable, and I'm glad that the House of Hope could help out. That is so neat. All right. So, <laughs> can I, Go ahead, Marilyn. I just wanted to say yeah. something that... Uh, Kaylee is a success story because of her parents, and that is one thing that makes our residential facility different than most uh, facilities. They come to parenting once yeah. a week, okay. and they also have individual counseling as okay. parents once a week because right. we can't just fix the kid and return them home. We have to work all together. Thank you both. All right, we are running out of time, Jamie, so I'm just going to tell people about uh, this upcoming walk and run. Here it is. If you would like to help out the House of Hope, they have an upcoming event. It is called Hope Challenge. It's a 5K walk and run. It's uh, Saturday, June 18th. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. It is right across from the Nelson Atkins Museum, that beautiful museum in the park there at 47th and Oak. So if you would like to register for this 5K walk and run, just go to NBCActionNews.com and we have more information there. I hope